Hello guys and girls and welcome back. It's your boy Big John and I'm here today to show you about Neo Strategy 1. Now this is going to be the easiest scalping strategy ever and trust me you're going to love this one guys and girls. So let's get straight into the video. All right first and foremost you can see I am in the free EZ Forex Enterprise group and in this group I actually give out gold analysis. This was one of the gold trades I gave out on Friday. So people just need to understand that this group is going to give you an update on what gold can be doing every single week in the market and so far i've had a hundred percent win rate of course the market is going to shift and there could be some losses so i want people to understand that it's not always about winning it's about just being consistent okay over here is the ez forex enterprise signal group and this is one of the vip groups that you do get once you purchase neo and right now this is a day trade i'm possibly looking at on gbp usd so i've already marked out the trade that i'm looking at because of any of the confluences this this pretty much is strategy two it's telling me that when price action breaks this area here which is a h4 verified level if i get a daily candle above this level then i'm going to be looking at continuations of buys so i'm just saying it in here for everybody else whether it wins or loses i want everybody to be aware of what i'm doing beforehand now once we do get price coming closer to this level i am also going to put stop loss take profit and entry levels for all of the vip users as well so they're going to know exactly when and where to get out of the market okay so all of that is out of the way and right now we are on neo the indicator expert advisor and this strategy is very very simple like i've said this one is for scalping and it's strategy one so i've actually updated the discord as you can see over here and this is a full annotation diagram showing you exactly what you're looking for when it comes to any of these buy or sell trade setups so this is a sell trade setup idea and this one here is a buy trade setup idea okay so let's go back onto mt4 and we're going to go through the confluences right now our first confluence we're going to be looking for is the age and the trend to be bearish or bullish right now this is bullish and it happened 25 days ago that's what this number in here is showing you what we're going to do in confluence with that is just making sure that there is a daily break of structure or change of character so you can see here there was a change of character here and even previously there was daily breaks of structure down at this level down here now the next thing we're going to be looking for is a four hour change of character or break of structure just to to show us that the market is shifting into a bullish direction so we can look for continuations of buys and we can see that over here there's a four hour change of character and there's a four hour break of structure so two of our confluences have been here okay so our next confluence is paying attention to when neo is mapping out verified levels of support and resistance and we can see over here that there was a verified level at this level in the market where price action actually sold down to and did buy back up so something to pay attention to here is that this level would have been a weak level and in the settings if you do have on weak and untested support and resistance you will be able to see that this was a weak level beforehand because of course price action did buy off this level before into one direction and this was the actual retest here hence why this says retest one unless price action consolidates at this level not all the time will this become a verified level especially if price action just does a move which is straight down and straight up so this one here may have only become verified at this level here after this candle closure here or sometimes it does appear instantly of course this is a point where you're getting ready to enter your trade so you're going to be able to watch this appear and what you're going to do is enter at the top of this green box here or if it didn't appear at that point as a verified level you're just going to enter as soon as it did appear so maybe it would appear on this candle closure or even here now of course do not take the trade setup if the risk to reward doesn't make sense so that's if it did a massive impulsive move let's say all the way up to here do not try and take a trade where your stop loss will be all the way down here like this just wait for the next trade setup now when it comes to stop loss placement again because you've entered here at the top of the box or just a little bit further up you can literally just set your stop loss below this box here or you can also set your stop loss below the liquidity low now you can see straight away that neo has a multi time frame liquidity system this is in the options and you can actually change this to any time frame you want at the moment it's set to a 15 minute chart and it's showing us the sell side liquidity is down here so your stop loss could be there or at the bottom of the box and now when you're looking for take profit levels the next thing you're going to be paying attention to is the buy side liquidity because of course we're looking for a buy trade setup so you can have your take profit at the buy side liquidity that hasn't been breached which is up here which is 46 pips and you can see price action took out that liquidity the next 
day. Now, if you don't want to use the liquidity, you can also change the settings in Neo's ADR settings, and I've changed it to 0.5. So from the verified level, I would have been looking for 36 pips towards TP2. So 36 pips is pretty much around the same area, and it was the next day over here. If you're looking for a bigger TP, you can use the ADR1, and that would have been 73 pips. So what you can see is 73 pips was hit around here. So you had to wait about maybe a day and a half, and you would have hit that take profit level. Because we are on the 15 minute chart, if you do want to look for a sniper entry buy trade for a possible swing trade, then you can also look for historical previous liquidity levels. So let's just map this out. So we can put this here and right over here is where other liquidity levels would have been formed. Our entry was down here. And then of course there would have been a liquidity high up here, just as you've seen previously. All you have to do in the settings is just change the liquidity history and then liquidity will appear further on the left of your chart. So that is a buy setup with strategy one and now we're going to go into a sell setup okay so when we're looking at sell trade setups it's the same thing our age and our trend must be bearish so we can see here it's bearish my color is green not red and then we can see that there was a daily break of structure down here that was also bearish so confluence one has been hit now confluence two would be a four hour bearish break of structure we had a four hour bearish break of structure down here so confluence two has been now hit and when it comes into confluence three we're looking for our verified entry so now what you can see is price action is actually on a proven level at this point and that's because we had multiple taps to this level and price kept rejecting off of it if not it would say verified proven means it's stronger than a verified level so that is a very very good confluence if you do see a proven level for a possible trade rejection if the confluences come into play and then we saw our entry right over here and of course if you had to wait a little bit more maybe when price action pushed down here it created the verified level you would have still had an entry going all the way down here now when it comes to our next confluence which is the stop loss the same thing as a buy trade setup but just in reverse you will put your stop loss above this this box here after the verified level rejection or you would put your stop loss above the liquidity high that was formed right here which is the buy side liquidity when it comes into the last confluence for our take profit it's the same thing so if we've entered at this box you can see the same thing here there's a liquidity low right down here and price action actually came back to this level again and hit your tp target the same thing as before as well you can easily just look at historical levels on the chart towards the left and you'd be able to find other historical liquidity levels to look for a take profit if you cannot see one that seems to be a good level for you remember you can still use the adr as half an adr for your take profit level so 121 pips so from this level here 121 pips was around about here there you go so you would have hit your tp if you used the adr and 243 pips if you was using a full length one times adr would have been all the way around about here in the market right here so there you go guys and girls it's really that simple it does doesn't even have to be explained in a crazy manner it's very easy to take this setup and i've written down all the confluences so you can literally copy that whole screenshot and trade it yourself which is in the discord or you can watch this video as well to give you an explanation like i've said all of the settings are going to be in a set file and all you have to do is message it to me and i'll send it to you if not it will be in the vip group so once you're a member you'll be able to just go to the pin section and download it yourself as well so guys and girls i hope you like this if you do want to get into this product right now there is four more spaces left at 100 gbp and that is for lifetime access with all of the vip services you can see on the screen at the moment as well guys and girls trust me people are going to be making a lot of money and consistent money with this product i am not making this for no reason every single thing i've created here is for a reason and it's so people can understand how to trade the market better and more efficiently even as a beginner i'm always here for customer support as well so i'll leave you on that note and don't don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe. It is your boy, Big John, and I'm out. Easy. Started from the bottom like Drake. Got that John Mueller, but I learned my mistakes. Hiding up the ladder, gotta watch out for the snakes. If you wanna be the boss, then you have to sell a gate.